Hi guys and welcome back to the Lazy Girls Kitchen. For those of you that are new, my name is Maggie and welcome. Today we are going to be making loaded nachos. Um, I want to show you kind of how I like to make them. I feel like this is a really, really good comfort food right now. So for me, it's a must. It's kind of like, it warms my soul. Um, I do usually top mine with like guacamole and like pico or salsa. I didn't have all the ingredients I need, so I'm kind of improvising, but you can top it with whatever you'd like or not top it at all. Um, so let's get started. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do or what we're gonna need. Alrighty, let's get this party started. So you're gonna need some ground beef. Mine's about 80-20, um, 80 lean, 20% fat. Um, that's the best I could do for this. You're gonna need some onions, garlic. This is just a spice blend that I'm gonna um, make sure that I write for you in the actual recipe. It's like cayenne, chili powder, um, oregano, things like that. Um, you're gonna need some tomato sauce, some water, a lemon and a lime, some avocado, and here I have my tomato, onion, and green onion. This is like my pseudo salsa since I don't have all the ingredients that I need. Salt and pepper, cheese, you're gonna need a skillet with high sides, some olive oil, and preheat your broiler to hot, or high, whatever. Just preheat your broiler. <laughs> So into my skillet, I'm gonna leave it on like medium high. I already added my olive oil into this. I'm gonna add in my ground beef. And because I feel like it's gonna render some fat, I'm gonna let this cook down so I can drain the fat. And then we're gonna continue with everything else. And while my ground beef is cooking, I did forget to tell you, um, you're gonna need tortilla chips. So whatever chips you like, just kind of set those aside and um, a nice baking dish, however big you want or however small you want. Um, I would say that what I'm making right now will be about two batches or so. So I'm not going to make the full amount of nachos in one sitting, but um, I like to have the meat on hand just in case I want to do like tacos or something else later on. So my ground beef is cooked through. I drained the fat because there was quite a bit. Um, and that was a clean one. I just get paranoid when I add in onions. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm gonna add in my onions and I'm gonna let the onions cook for a few minutes just to cook them down a little bit. I'm gonna also add in my garlic. So. All right, my onions have cooked down a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add in my spices along with some salt. And then of course, black pepper. Can't forget the pepper. I'm gonna give this a nice stir. I want this to be nice and incorporated. And then to this, I'm gonna add in my tomato sauce. Just like so. I added in, and this is an eight, this is eight ounces. And then what I do is I pour some water in here. And a trick my mama showed me. Now I'm gonna let this cook just for a few minutes to kind of thicken through the meat a little bit and flavor all those, you know, flavor everything together. And then we're gonna assemble our nachos to put them into the oven before we finish them off. Oh, it smells so good, you guys, I can't even. Alrighty, my mixture, my meat mixture is beautiful. Look at that, it's gorgeous, it smells beautifully. And what I like to do is, I like to layer this kind of like a lasagna. So I have my first layer of chips and then I just kind of sprinkle some meat on there just like so just so every bite is gonna have some chip you know what I mean like that it smells so good I can't even tell you and then I do my cheese And then I'm gonna top it with one final layer. 
All right, my nachos are in here. I'm gonna pop this into the oven under the broiler, I don't know, for a minute, for two, depends how long it takes for the cheese to melt. And then while that's in the oven, we're gonna work on our pico and our guacamole, our pseudo stuff, since I don't have everything, but I'm gonna show you how I'm working with what I have. Okay, so for my salsa, what I'm using is what I have on hand. Some green onions, tomatoes, red onion, and then I'm gonna do some salt. Be a little bit more some pepper and for me it's not salsa without some lime so I'm gonna squeeze some lime in there and that is what I'm gonna use for the salsa I didn't have any cilantro I didn't have any jalapeno nothing so this is what I'm working with which is totally totally fine all right I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna do our guacamole. So for my guac, let me just give this a nice stir. All right, perfect, let those flavors marinate. For my guacamole, I'm literally just doing avocado because that's what I had on hand. I'm gonna mash this with my fork and I'm just gonna do a little bit of lemon juice and salt and pepper and that is it. Um, Usually I do like tomato in here, but since I'm already doing my pseudo pico de gallo, I'm not gonna do some salt, some black pepper. And I never measure when I'm like cooking and I'm not on camera, I don't really ever measure. And then some lemon juice. And I mix this together. And then all I'm gonna do is pop this over my nachos when they get out of the oven. Can we please talk about this goodness right now? I can't. So to finish it off, I'm gonna do just a sprinkling of my salsa. I'm gonna keep it next to me so that way as I'm taking bites, I might wanna dip in a little more, you know what I mean? I don't limit myself when it comes to nachos. All right, and then I do like little dabs of my guac. You can also do like sour cream on this, jalapeno, pickled jalapeno, but right now this is what I have on hand and that is what I am working with. All right, I'm gonna give one of these a try because, well, why not? I want to show you how delicious this is. So I got one with all the fixins. It smells so good. Absolutely, absolutely delicious. I'm putting some more guac on. <laughs> so good, so flavorful. You have to head over to the lazygirlskitchen.com to get this recipe. I'm gonna have all the measurements out for you. But remember, use what you have, substitute what you don't like or what you don't have, and just make it your own. But it's so delicious, I hope you guys give it a try. Um, make sure you subscribe and give me a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.